the bond of the RV community. When I started my journey in living out of my car about a year ago, one thing I really was not aware of was the community itself. There is a community of people who either full-time RV or full-time live out of their van or full-time live out of their car, some type of nomadic, you know what I mean, lifestyle. I was unaware of the community and how tight they were. And I am really impressed on overall how positive the RV community is. Even if you're someone like me who's like kind of not officially in an RV, I'm in a Jeep Renegade, that's where I live. You know, uh, RV stands for recreational vehicle, so it could be considered that. But most people consider an RV as a travel trailer, uh, class A, class B, class C, you know, etc. conversion van. That being said, you know, overall, people have embraced me, you know, and I've met a lot of positive people um, living that lifestyle. And so I want to make a, a specific video in saying that I think that's a beautiful thing. And I think that's a positive. Now, I don't want to mislead you either. You know, they, like any community, like any group of people, you have negative, um, hurtful people, unproductive, hurtful people. And so never be disillusioned. I saw one person when I was in the beginning of my journey and I was looking at YouTube and he, he, he basically, uh, stopped living in his apartment and he bought a van conversion and he started living full time out of his van. And then after like eight months or a year, he got disillusioned because he kind of just joined the nomadic uh, community, just joined being a nomad because he wanted the community. His only real reason in one sense that how he explained it in his video was the reason he did it was he wanted to be part of something. And, you know, I, like I said, I see that a lot with the RTR. I see that it's it's a lot of people that want to be part of something. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, my, my purpose for the video is one is I want to say that if you are someone thinking of going full-time out of a, an official travel trailer, car, conversion van, I think you will get helpful information and you will get actual physical help. Like, you know what I mean? From the community... If you embrace it, that being said, I want you to always understand and never be misled that any community, whether we're talking about a condo association community, whether we're talking about, you know what I mean? Any class, any type of community is on average overall good with a percentage bad. Therefore, never be disillusioned and always remember that you should only do in life what truly inspires you not to just feel loved because if you're just joining like a community to just like be part of the group that will eventually wear off now in life everything wears off everything changes everything grows everything evolves but I want to make this video because I felt I felt that that, that guy that that lived out of his van I think a video like this would have helped him I want you to do whatever you want with your life. Always remember, my videos are based on my perspective and my insight. Everyone's different. But I think, for me, I am inspired daily. Uh, I was just watching, like I woke up, I was just watching YouTube. I was watching, I was looking at RV uh, communities in Florida, like, you know, where they sell RV lots. I did a video on that. I mean, that's one of my uh, dream goals. I'm going to do a video and talk about that. But, you know, just different people. Uh, Sh Shanaina. Uh, from UK left me a beautiful message last night. You know, she lives in her in her trailer, you know, I believe on her family's uh, property. And that's inspiring to me. I mean, you know, different things. I, I like just the simplistic life in my older years as I, as I get older has, is very inspiring to me because it's just less anxiety. It's less worries because we already know that life has a lot. So um, I just do want to say that I thank, you know, the RV community. And I think that if you decide to get into it, I think that's a positive. Use the community because we are not an island. We need people around it. But at the same time, you know, people who get into the RV lifestyle, like me, we like to be alone a lot. You know, and sharing your life, being part of a community gets draining. Like even sometimes at night, like I'm like, man, I'm shutting my YouTube channel down because I, I don't want to deal with the aggravation of, you know, talking to, you know, everybody in the world and dealing with everybody's comments. 
So I need time to spend by myself to sleep, to recharge my batteries. And, um, but a lot of the comments, you know, are, are a blessing. So, you know, I just want to want to share with you that that's a resource. The RV community, the information they have, the helpfulness they can provide. I had a friend just bought a Class C and he said he, he, he bought it off Craigslist and he went to different places uh, you know, in a couple mile radius of his house to look at different people who were selling their RV. And he goes, Sam, man, he goes, it's really amazing. He, he never knew either that, you know, the people that he met on average were just very supportive. Um, and he was very impressed with the RV community. So I just want to acknowledge the RV community. I want to shed light on that for someone who's new into it like me, for somebody who may be used to it, then, you know, it's, it's not rel relative to them. But, and then also, like I said, just be mindful that every community has its bad apples, all right? Outside of that, push forward and stay inspired.